ba da ba da ba 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 Oh! Uh, what, what a number is this? Hello? Who is this? Hello, I am Nuri Sahan's agent. Hello, um, why you are calling to me? I would like to discuss about his contract. Oh, his contract, okay. Perhaps a backup player and slightly a uh, bigger wage? No backup player, we want key player contract and reasonable um, wage increase. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. What is a reasonable wage rise? Um, what kind of contract do you want? I think 105,000 per week would be a good plus 2 million signing bonus. Oh, uh, okay. You will hear me soon. Um, I will think this out. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Hello guys, this is the chairman and welcome back to another episode of Dortmund Save and for this episode I don't have any highlight packages because there is only few games to recap. First game uh, against HSV 1-1 draw. Uh, disappointing, Kagawa gave us the lead and Lasokas equalized the game in 86th minute and if you look at the stats we probably deserve to win this game but no. Our form is so poor. Poor at the end of the season that I barely manage to win anything at the moment. Uh, after that we lost 3-1 to Werder Bremen. Uh, really disappointing game. Home game, um, away game and the home team Werder Bremen. Um, they were, were far too good for us at the moment. Our form and our morale is so low that um, we didn't manage, if you look our rating, 6.1, 6.3, 6.8 and so on, 6.2, 6.2, uh, we were poor, we were really poor and uh, to be honest we didn't deserve anything on on of that game. Next game, uh, home 4-0 Ingo start, decent game, they got only one shot and one shot on target. We were dominating and if you look here, I changed our formation with this 4-3-3 uh, uh, formation and it worked perfectly at this time. But of course, Ingolstadt is uh, far too, uh, we are far too better side against Ingolstadt and yeah. Uh, after that, 1-2-2 uh, draw against Gladbach away. Apameyang got two goals, Rafael and Patrick Herman their goal scorers. They scored in two minute um, period there. Equal game, probably draw was the result there that to become. And the last game 3-0 at home against Augsburg. Royce Kundakan and Abameyang got our goals. Picek got a straight red card in 88 minutes. Yet again, we played that 4-3-3 uh, four, three, three formation and they got only that one shot on target. So, the league table at the moment is this and it's not gonna change anywhere. Uh, Bayern is the champion, we are second. Schalke, Schalke, Leverkusen and Wolfsburg are battling that third position. Uh, yeah, Hoffenheim cannot be third because of the gap of points is four. So yeah, let's go to the game. Uh, our formation is gonna, going to be this three, uh, four, three, three, and our assistant always put Marco Royce on top. I don't like that at all. Um, let's see, let's see. Do we have 
anybody here. Let's bring Perpato for Ducks there and uh, put put Aubameyang and bring 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 Perpato on that poacher role and Aubameyang on that false nine. Um, in midfield, uh, I would like to bring Mikitarian for. For Sahin and <clears throat> are we gonna have any? Let's bring let's bring uh, young Moritz Leitner to substitution bench, and I put Biden Feller on goal because I like it. And let's go. This is the last game of the season, and after this, we have a recap video for recapping our season and uh, stuff like that it's gonna be the uh, uh, last episode of this season and perhaps uh, some kind of a start towards next season <coughs> so the last game hopefully we managed to grab a win here uh, our form have been really poor and for these away games, we have struggled. That was offside, I think. Yes, offside for Aubameyang, and if you see here, there are two players at offside. So <laughs> don't bother to watch that. Uh, <clears throat> Hanover, Hanover have got a couple of shots. Aubameyang got the ball. Perpatov, Royce. There is plenty of room at left side, but he played to the ball here. Kaderapek and Royce hit the post. <laughs> Marco haven't been on his best form at lately, so <clears throat> I don't know. Mm. Hopefully he, he will be on his best on next season because we will need him to... If we gonna be challenging uh, uh, Bayern on that top position and now... <clears throat> now Hanover got the chance, but we, are, we make the clearance there. Doom got the ball. Um, if I'm gonna ramble here, uh, I might ask some questions. So, um, what kind of a uh, saves you are going to do with FM16 when it's gonna be out? Um, if you don't know, my beta save is going to be with Arsenal. Um, gonna do with that two weeks period when beta is around and uh, after that I don't really know in some point I'm gonna do MLS save because why not <laughs> I don't have any clue of the rules uh, for that league so therefore it's gonna be really hilarious and a fun thing to do uh, maybe some lower league management also in England and uh, I don't know maybe some save in uh, Finnish Premier League also but leave the comments what kind of save you are going to do and <clears throat> if you are even going to get that game so um, hopefully hopefully it's gonna be I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be really good game for those uh, features that uh, Miles have been tweeting about and <clears throat> stuff I'm sure the game is gonna be really good but our game is really poor like you see here I don't really know what to do <laughs> uh, this season is is going to be at this ending point soon and uh, I'm casting an eye on future already next season is gonna be really tough for us because we are entering into Champions League and uh, yeah we we should buy some players like you see on that intro there are going to be some business in the summer but let's play this game and uh, end up this season season uh, before we're going to discuss for the next one.
Can we score here? No. Yes. Andrea Zivkovic. And uh, for those who haven't got this kit, I I urge you to do so because he's really good. He's been he's been really good this season, despite the fact that he haven't played so many games. But yeah, I I really like that kid and uh, um, please they will uh, buy him. So uh, yeah, of course that kind of goal. Yeah, but you can say about that. Let's look it. Vankovic, Kiyotake, and shot and hmm. Well, it's. It's that kind of that kind of goalkeeper um, for that last substitution. Uh, yeah, let's pl bring uh, Leitner on pitch. First game uh, for him. We are second. Uh, whatever happens in this game, so so let's give give the lad a go. And uh, he's injured, of course. Yeah. Well, bollocks. 1-1 one, one away against Hanover. So, the season have ended and surprisingly, Bayern München have won the league by, uh, by 13 points. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's look a little bit at our stats before, before we leave. Where are, where is the league table there? Uh, Lewandowski, 28 league goals. Aubameyang, 22. Huntala, 16. Werner, 16. Um, Thiago, 14. Per, uh, assist. Robben, 13. Royce, 10. And Aubameyang, 9. Um, most clean sheets. Um, really surprising name in the first place. Manuel Neuer. <laughs> For 24 clean sheets in 34 games. Uh, and and yeah, of course, Bayern concede only 13 goals. So that's good for the upcoming season. But yeah, I'm rambling again. So uh, if you like... Uh, I don't know what to say. If you like this series, please hit that like button. And if you like it even more, please subscribe. It will help my channel to grow. I'm the chairman and we see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen.